darn it. Hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Alina. I have a cup of coffee with me. And we will look at some jewelry. I did want to give an update on this. I hope that music isn't too loud. And this is definitely either wants to twist Art Nouveau, Art Deco, um, Edwardian, Victorian, something like that. This is all silver, is my guess. I still haven't received my new acid test. I don't know what the holdup is. These are glass, but they're really interesting because they have white on the back. So I'd like to know their technique for that. I think it's gorgeous. And probably won't be for sale. Because <laughs> I like the old stuff. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing good. Let me adjust some lights around here because I have the window open. Or the, whoops. We're going to have a problem. There we go. And I do have, sadly, the sliding door open again because my dog's having a bad day which he hasn't had in a long time. And there he is. Um, very clingy today. Very clingy. So that usually tells me he's being, he's feeling stressed. I'm not sure why. We went out for a nice walk. But yeah. You know, he's an old dog. I do the best that I can. So, I got this bag here. It's heavy. It's like 10 pounds. And let's go by first thoughts. Like, oh my God. Um, I'm just saying that because it says, oh my God. Um, it looks just like a bunch of crap, right? One of those dang paper beads. But you know what? I've gotten bags that look like this, and I've gotten some awesome, awesome stuff. It doesn't happen every time, but, you know, it's a gamble. I did pay $40 for this. Sorry, I'm having a hard time moving this. Um, because of my shoulder. And those of you that don't know, I got injured at work back in April and continued to work and ended up with two pinched nerves in my shoulder. And I've been going to physical therapy. So she got them all unpinched. Um, it, it dry netting, I don't know if you know what that is. It's kind of like um, getting a massage and pressure points. That's the only thing I can explain. Because she uh, finds where it hurts and gives it a massage to release it and does some pressure points on it. And it's marvelous. I would highly recommend it if you have pain. I was doing really good until I tried to open a window one night because it was hot. <laughs> so... Now I'm working through that. Anyways, let's see. This bag is so tight. Yeah. That's interesting. Let's pull out a chunk of this. Let's see what comes out. That's definitely the shelf roll, right? More paper beads. And a bracelet. Oh my god, that's an earring. <laughs> okay, there's a good start. Okay. Oh, that's an earring. 
put you right back here so we have some room. And I'm going to pull out all the earrings as I see them. This is no point showing them unless I have a match. This is just a brass bangle. That's a nice one. I'm not really a fan of these rubbery things. Rubber bands and stuff. Did I get them all? Oh, here's one more. Looks like a bone. There might be more. Hopefully not. I'm not sure what this was attached to. Oh. Looking at the picture, looks like paper beads. And another one. Oh, this is cool. I wonder if somebody made this. It says stretchy. I remember to move out. Looks pretty. Sparkly. I like the beads. Pearls. And tingles. Let's see if we can get this out. And I have a fly in here. Ah, let's just go with something that's not tangly. I just don't feel like dealing with tangles. But it looks like this bag might be just all tangles. I don't know if you can hear that music. I'm playing 40s jazz. And it's in another room, but it sounds loud all of a sudden. Might be just the song. Now there's a little tangled number. There we go. That's a cute little necklace. Got little flowers, little beads, little rhinestones. It's cute. Cute, cute. Here are the shells. I thought this was a snowman. <laughs> How many of you thought this was a snowman, too? I mean, who would wear that? I just, <laughs> I just don't know. This looks like a snowman. These are earrings. Let's see what shakes loose. You know, I've discovered a good indication of stuff that sells is stuff that comes in bags. Because people have bought them, they may not they may have not kept them for a long time, but they have bought them. And I actually like this. This has got a tag. Mia Sophia. nice chain. It's got the shells. I believe these are plastic though, which is too bad. Still pretty. Little shell pieces. It's a nice necklace. Oh, look at that. I got a pair. These remind me of Amarina Sig. Sing? S I N G H. Not sure how you would say that. 
she's an Indian actress that has a jewelry line. I like her stuff because, yeah, because it's cool. I'll be honest with you. This is the next one that pops out. It's one of those that's supposed to look like a Pandora, but isn't. Double checking, because I know Pandora is saying 925. And these don't. Nope. And it has a cross. A crucifix. I guess that's what you call it when it has Jesus on it. Little flowers. It's cute. It's a cute piece. This pearl and chain bracelet. This is actually really pretty. I love the colors. And pinks and coppers and the enamel flower and the little, it's probably plastic, but they have like glitter in them. Oh, look, here's some chain and very nice. I'm gonna have to take off some bracelets to wear this. Because uh, of the injury in my arm, any kind of weight starts to make me ache. My shoulder ache. It's beautiful. I could use some lotion. So, how's everybody doing with this COVID stuff going on? You know, here in Colorado, oh, I have two flies today. Thanks, Endo. Um, here in Colorado, they have mandatory masks. trying to keep everybody healthy. And Walmart has mandatory masks now, which I don't know if you know this. I used, I used to work at Walmart. That's where I got injured. Well, I still work there, but it's only a matter of time. Walmart as a company is not that bad to work for. Walmart as in management, at least what store I worked at, is not good. Not good at all. Oh, I know there's a clasp for this, right? I see it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's go with stuff that's coming out. Faux pearl stretchy with little little tone beads. Got an earring in it. This says Leah Sophia, I think. No, oh, it says Claire's. They have the same shape tag. I like these. And this one is just a long one. But they're not glass, but they're still pretty. Let's 
see what else comes out now. Something that's got to be good. Let's see if we can get this thing out because it's causing problems. This is one of those paper beaded bracelets in a nice neutral color at least on a memory wire. This thing's been like a slinky. And something else came out. Just one of those multi-layer beaded necklace. Two class. Hmm. There's this little piece. When I see tassels like this, it makes me think of paparazzi. It's cute, but I don't know. Actually, I might repurpose that part. So I'm gonna stick it over here and think about it. I need to make some jewelry. I need some time to make jewelry and not sit and look at all the jewelry that I have because it stresses me out. It really does. Just the amount I'm trying to figure out stuff. I put some boxes of jewelry in my Etsy store. This is cute. Three, it's like an ombre with blue. Pretty sure these are just acrylic. And they have like mixed pieces, like all gold tone or silver tone. And They have like, I think the silver tone has 15, gold tone has 19, and for those of you that click on my Etsy link, I'm going to tell you a secret. I have learned, after selling a few things, that nobody reads the descriptions. Or hardly anybody. Because they ask me <laughs> questions on stuff that's right in the description. So that tells me they don't read it. This is Leah Sophia. This is a nice, simple piece. It's got a little enam enameling and a creamy color. Some rhinestones are all there. Sparkly, antique bronze. So, I put at the end of my descriptions a message about a discount. <laughs> if you read the descriptions. I didn't tell anybody else that, but I put 20% off if you message me and are interested in something in one of the boxes, obviously. This is a clasp somewhere. Let's see in the clasp here. Oh, it's another Leah Sophia. This is the Leah Sophia bag. In a tangled mess. It's okay. I like Leah Sophia. I like Thea Sophia better than White House Black Market. So this has silver tone on one side and little rhinestones on the other. Really needs a bath. I bet it looks nice all cleaned up. Good day for washing jewelry. I seem to do that a lot. Cecilia Sophia too. It's got that same, oh no, Premier Design. 
These little beads here always remind me of, what do you call this? Old vintage hand grenades. But this has got glass and plastic beads, or acrylic. It's cute, jingly. I like this, it has that southwestern feel. Everybody loves Southwestern. It's, I don't know, it just feels right when you wear it sometimes, you know? I like it anyways. I know there's people that prefer um, Heidi Doss, J. Crew. Um, Kendra Scott. I followed Kendra Scott on Instagram, mostly because I like to see her creative process. Her jewelry's okay. It's very simple, expensive, um, and I guess it sells well. This is cute. This is a Leah Sophia too, right? Or is this Premier Design? Leah Sophia. This is going to be called the Leah Sophia bag, which I don't mind. I'm really tired of the Sarah Coventry ones. So that's gonna look cute when it gets washed up. I don't like these. Wish I could get that out. I'm just trying to go like this and see what comes out. The gold tone stuff in here has got that matted gold look like you usually see on Anne Klein jewelry. Interested, and I just decided I hate these necklaces. So, <laughs> for this very reason, they need to be kept alone. Everything gets tangled in them. Look at that! Oh my gosh! I don't think I'm gonna untangle this. Just oh, there's another Leah Sophia. What is it? I think something really tangled in there. What's this leaf? There's this other cool leaf thing. Is this Leah Sophia too? Oh my gosh, there's a lot of Leah Sophia in here. I'm gonna untangle this later. And on part two, I will show you what was in it. I guess this is a bracelet. Thought it was an earring, but there's no way. Ow. So just a little handmade bracelet. Where's that? Oh, a plastic earring. Okay. This is it. Then we're done. For today. I'm just crap. A plastic bingo with this snowflake. Just plasticky pearls. Double checking the clasp. Like Leah Sophia. Here's a pendant. It's got marcasite. It's got marcasite. And there's a chain. And right here, let's see what it says. I know it says 925. Can't read it. The symbol. CW. I'm not sure who that is. Ooh. These feel like milk glass. Which I love. 
is going into my stash. Because I like milk glass. White beads that go with anything and glass, not acrylic or anything like that. You know, the good stuff. Vintagey. Oops. This is good for a layered look. Boho style. I like it. Little tiny discs. And then it's got a bunch of jump rings on a leather cord with a button. I don't think it's silver, but let's see. I don't know. Probably not, but if I had my, my acid, I could test it. I think three packages, one of them being my acid. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That's not so much. Oh, I can't get this. Somebody's craft project. This is that puffy play. Earrings. Earrings. Oh, I have a pair somewhere. Right here. These are pretty. They're really well made. They are heavy. They need washing. And they don't have any kind of marks or anything. They're pretty. Oh. A woven bangle from Thailand. And a another didn't I have one of these already? Another brass bangle. I'm guessing they go together. A brooch, gold tone heart. This is called um, a witch's heart. And the reason is when someone gives you this heart, they've been bewitched, as in love struck. So, and that's a symbol of when you see a heart that goes out on the end. Interesting fact, I don't know if you know that, but now you do. Safety pin. Earrings. Earrings. It's just stretchy. I think these are just acrylic beads. Oh, this looks like a fun stretchy. In fact, I might pair this. I have a necklace that this would go with perfectly. Ten colors. I think I have two of them. And the stretchy is pretty sharp. Now, I can always use some cool keys. And the ones that say... What does this say? I want to say China, but... Oh, Germany? Hmm. Interesting. This is going on my stash. That's pretty much... Why I started doing these was for my beading needs. Because you can't buy the designer beads that you get in here in pre made jewelry. This is a real pretty rosary. These are glass or stone beads. Probably dyed, but they're still pretty. And blues. 
That's a lovely one. I don't know who that is. It just says, pray for us. That's nice. And then there's this colorful one here. It says, believe. It's on a, like a wooden, lead and believe. I guess that's the Mother Mary. And then it's got all these bicones. I believe somebody made this. Okay. Yeah. One of these big thick chains that it's not gold or silver that you always get in a jar or bag. Got a tag, Premier Design. Yep, why did I know? Just had that Premier Design look. Need some unwrinkling. This is glass, these are not. That's a nice summary piece. Can you imagine that with your tan? This color always looks good on everybody, even Really light skinned people look good in it. RMN. This is crazy. Don't know who RMN is, but you can see that. Laurel Porky Pony. Earring. Christmassy bracelet. I don't think it's silver or anything. I don't know. Might be. Oh, this looks like Thai beads. Hmm. That's interesting. Nothing really super duper interesting yet, but we have so much left in that bag. I think there's three necklaces in here. <laughs> I'll just start undoing clasps. This says something. Elon. Why couldn't I read that without a loop? Shoe fly. So this is a name on necklace. It says right there. It's a double strand, I'm guessing. I've just seen that. And then that fly. Thank you, Endo. This needs definite washing. And there's this piece. It's just, this is in really bad shape. This is like silver and this is gold, it's so worn. And I'm just gonna throw it in crafting. And then there's one of these little bracelet necklaces for kids. Ah, one of these fake gold little teeny tiny smudge of a diamond in reflective setting. It's like that diamond in your national has that too, right? 
from the D. Some beaded, somebody made these, I'm guessing. Beaded bracelets and a bonus here. All of these, I'm gonna put them back. Other oh, ankle bracelets. And the last piece for today, I'm gonna keep, because I'm all about the moon. I even have it on my phone. It tells me when the moon sets and rises. I like to sit out and look at the moon. So, clasp isn't silver, chain probably isn't either, but this is definitely silver. It says sterling, let me see if I can zoom in, sterling. There's no maker or anything. It's got like a little amethyst. So, yeah. So far, Les, Leah, Sophia. And a couple things for me, which is basically what I look for. Reselling is good if you can sell it. But I'm looking for stuff to make. Because I'm in the mood to make some jewelry. So, when I come back... Oh I'm gonna have this all untangled. Clasp to this. Anyways, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have some then. And then I'll probably record part two. So, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for your support. Give a thumbs up. And uh, I could really use uh, the support. And I appreciate you guys. And stay blessed. Everything's going to be okay. Bye-bye.